Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snelp. And today I'm going to get into parental control permission within your devices. Now I'm going to be showing my stuff on a Windows, but this will go across the board. And I keep getting asked questions on the best parental control, third party parental control. And I keep pushing it off because the fact is, is there's never 100%. A lot of people don't want to hear it. I'm going to say it right now. There is no substitute between you as a parent talking to your kid. Now, with this being said, I'm not a parent at this time, but the fact is, is there's no hardware and no software that you can't bypass in some form or fashion. I don't care how much money you spend on it. It, it even you'll see in government systems, people are able to bypass it very easily with the minimum knowledge or or just asking the right person it, it's it's that simple so no matter what you do these tips will hopefully help you protect but at the end of the day you have to prepare for the day that the person their kid or whatever actually goes to a site or something that um, they see something that might scar them because there again is no protection but it will slow down that to hopefully at the point where you're ready for that conversation but anyways with that being said now I want to mention that there's two major things two systems there's three systems I really don't talk about but there's two major things there's whitelist and a blacklist you might know what I'm talking about if you do, great. You've been paying attention to some of my videos. What a whitelist is basically a blacklist is everything besides these certain things. So say for example, if you're okay with a kid going to Facebook and you're okay with a kid going checking their email and doing some small minor things, you can actually whitelist, say Facebook, their email site, and so on. And everything else, everything is blocked. Simple as that. Or you can have blacklists and basically anything on that list is blocked and anything outside of it is not. And you might be saying, okay, the blacklist might be a better option because with the whitelist, you got to know about every single site. And let's say you forget Wikipedia or some other sites, that's probably going to be useful. And the fact is, is well, you got a whitelist and it takes a lot more effort on your part. Or the blacklist, the problem with that is there, the failure rate is so high that you might as well not have a list at all. That, that's just the fact. And same thing with white and blacklist, the, the, you get false positives all the time. And basically, you're, you're going to get a major problem. Now, the other thing I'll talk about is hardware and software protection. The difference between having a physical device protecting you and then having something on the say phone or computer that protects it's very important to know the difference so jumping on in let's start with a couple hardware now with this again the hardware and software failure works fairly similar and i'm using my router for this example just pulling this real quick in most routers you'll find that they use similar features they use a parental control a block site list a block service list schedules and even stuff like mine with, or, or the router if a given person tries to go to a block site so a blacklist then what would end up happening is the, there will be email that goes to whoever the administrator is. It's very important to keep that one in mind. But it's also very important to keep in mind that these are not 100%. The, uh, let's put it this way. It's so much not 100% that there's governments, the, um, China and a few other governments, that are rarely trying to block certain sites and block certain things from their citizens. And the fact is, is they're failing. So even a major country cannot even protect 
protects or not really protect but block certain things because people are able to get around it they know the IP address they can find a IP address they uh, they, they there's other sites that they go through that tunnels through there's many ways to go around this stuff and that's the problem is, is it doesn't work that well but given that you're still stuck on this um, how a lot of this works is depend on your router you'll either block it for everybody or just individuals and what you'll find is something where it says MAC addresses what is a MAC address in a nutshell let's just call it a name for a particular computer this name cannot change ever it is associated from the manufacturer and they're supposed to be I, I don't believe it but you know so far there's no proof otherwise they're supposed to be no two devices with the same MAC addresses in the world or ever in, in creation now the chances of that that's why I don't believe it but the truth of the matter is, is chances if you run by two devices same name or same MAC address that's you know that's that's pretty low too so with that being said what you need to keep in mind is you can block per device but let's say okay the person that you're trying to protect they use another device that's a bypass method and i'm going to get into the second one in a second here so in case if your router does not support something like that there's third-party options that are out there and the reason why I brought this with the router first is you'll find a lot of these third parties the um, software that goes on the computers and a few other things they are uh, a lot of money they're like this is a hundred dollars and it's it's not a joking around type of money for most people so with this you need to find the cheapest and easiest solution as possible putting something on the computer itself or the phone itself is not really always the answer because there's ways to bypass it no matter what you do and um and there's even there's even organizations actual organizations out there that are showing how to bypass this stuff because they make money they basically kids go to the organization the advertisement money comes in through that it's a it's a win for those two others for you and that, that's that's literally the type of war that you're going against then to lose in war so with that uh, another method is using a third-party application and this is a good example I'll leave a link below to in the description of this but basically it uses the uh, blacklist method it also uses uh, schedules and th fewer things like that but it's basically a blacklist method I don't like this type of method because simply you have problems with again it, it false positives and then you have other problems where it doesn't trigger when it's supposed to so you have that type of stuff now I never used this particular device but again I've heard good things about it so I figured I might as well put it out there now with this there's other things if you know how to modify your router and I'm talking about actual the operating system on it there's other options that are making it easier and you can use something like this I'm also going to leave a link to this if you don't know how to do that stuff forget that because I'll tell you I'll tell you the second thing I was going to talk about it's simply that what happens if your kid or whoever that you're trying to protect simply just connects to your neighbor's Wi-Fi that's the problem using software you can bypass it very easily using different accounts and then doing other things unless if it's the computer's truly 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 locked down which takes a lot of effort on you to just keep it that way it makes it almost useless as the kid grows up and it, 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 it it's not a winning thing for you at the end of the day the fact is is 
the other methods, they don't work either because, okay, you set it up, it works perfectly fine, but they just connect to the next neighbor stuff. Now what? So yeah, that's the problem, is it's not a winning war. And again, what you need to do at the end, of, I know a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, I already do this or whatever, but let's just be serious here. What you need to do at the end of the day is have a talk and make the rules clear and then be ready for the day on telling the kid or whoever that the world's just not fair and they might see some things that is otherwise. And, and there's sites out there to help you have that conversation. There's a lot of resources out there that you can actually use for that. Again, I'm not a parent, so I don't have to worry about that as of now, but I understand what a lot of people are having to go through because I got cousins and stuff that um, are like that. But anyways, with that being said, if you do know of any good tools that's helped you, then please feel free to leave that down there in the comment section, and that way it helps more people. But if um, you, you got any questions or anything like that, Leave that down there in the comment section. But also leave a like, subscribe, and especially share. So this helps out many people as possible. And feel free to visit our Patreon to help more videos like this come out. Again, this has been Craven, found on our tech views and help. And hope you have a great day.